All right, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Jason, and today we're back with some more of the Elder Scrolls 3. Morrowind, last time, we killed a person. It seems to be a pretty common occurrence in video games in general. Uh, you know, I could probably use that introduction for pretty much any, almost any game I play. I'd be like, last time we killed someone. It, it really brings into question, you know, video games. Or or should we just call them murder simulators? No, nah, I'm not going to go down that road. I don't I don't believe uh, that uh, it would have any sort of... Yeah, we're, we're just going to avoid that topic altogether because I don't feel like talking about that. I want to talk about Morrowind today. Um, and more specifically, what we are going to be doing uh, in this in this uh, outing today, we're going to head back to uh, Vivek over to the Saint Olm's uh, Canton and uh, talk to Mr. Dren again. Actually, wait, no, not Dren. Was it Dren? Or was it Curio who gave us the mission? It was Crassius Curio. I'm a dork. We're just gonna head back over to the Klalu Canton, talk to Mr. Crassius Curio, and be like, "Hey, yo, we killed that person." We uh, stopped the construction of that Telvani stronghold, which is probably why it doesn't have as many cool things as mine has. It was under construction. Hmm, that's that's probably uh, a good uh, assumption to make. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and cash that in, uh, and uh, I want to kind of try to finish the uh, house Lalu quest line. Uh, we've uh, basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, dude. I I agree. Yes. All right. You you keep talking to the voices in your head. Um, anyways, special trip just for you. anyways, um, yeah, I want to finish out Slalu. Uh, I know we're pretty much done. Uh, it's, I think we're pretty much done the Thieves Guild, but we do need to do the, um, Baal Malogmer. And I, you know, I kind of feel like the Baal Malogmer quests are really the, uh, the kind of the core of the Thieves Guild itself. Because, uh, you know, I was playing through the Thieves Guild quests and... To be incredibly honest, I think I... Did I go the wrong way? No. No, I'm good? Okay, we'll just keep going south. Um, oh, this looks nice. I like this. Oh, that looks very nice. Anyways. Uh, you know, I, I, I was thinking about uh, the different quest lines. You know, there, there tends to be this this talk when we're, we're talking about the different Elder Scrolls games. And, uh, like, in Oblivion... I think it's Oblivion. Yes, in Oblivion... Or is it Skyrim? One of the future games, uh, people like to go on about how uh, the like the Dark Brotherhood quest is so good, um, and you know there's always a sort of rating like if you're gonna play the game, these are the quest lines you should probably do, uh, and having just done the um, you know the Thieves Guild quests in general, I feel like they're kind of bleh. Uh, when I think about you know what quest lines do I have the most fun doing. The Thieves Guild doesn't really enter my mind. I, there's nothing that's been really memorable and that's jumped out at me. Like, yeah, yeah, that, that, that was good. Yeah, I want more of that. Um, you know, I remember, I remember the uh, nice acrobatic skill. I remember the main quest, uh, th those quests there, because, and I would hope so, because you know, those are those are the the main quests. You expect them to be uh, to be decent or at least memorable. Um, you know, some of the stuff uh, that we've done in there, that's kind of cool. I like that. Um, but the, the Thieves Guild? No, not so much. Not so much. Did I pass it? Yeah, I, I went... It's over this way. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's like, eh. Whatever. Um, but I feel like the Baal Malogmer, those, those quests are, are kind of neat. It's kind of a shame that you can lock yourself out of them, uh, by accidentally going ahead and doing all the, um, like the Thieves Guild, uh, ones first. And then, you, you know, you lose the opportunity to do those. Crassius Curio, how are you doing today? Do you find Reynold? Sorry, I'm drunk. Very That's all right, Curio. I get it. You've been drinking. It's been a long day. Uh, is the Telvani stronghold no longer a threat? Yep, it's gone. I heard that Reynith was dead. I am so proud of you, Dumpling. Please take another thousand drinks from House Lalu. Yeah, no problem. So, you, so why did you ask me the question if you already knew? Mm-hmm. What game are you playing at, Curio? Anyways, um, advancement. I can't advance you anymore, Dumpling. You'll need to see. Oh yes. All right. All right. 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 Um, do you get me? Do we have any more business? I have no more business for you, Pudding. Perhaps this time you were introduced to Duke Vedem Dren in Ebenhart. Duke Vedem Dren. Wait, Duke Vedem Dren. Who have we talked to? Drambero. So we're heading to. Uh, okay, I I I know exactly who we um 
We got who we we've got to chit chat with. All right, so Dram Barrow gave us. That's right. The the um. I think it was the sponsorship mint nint sponsorship nint mint nint. It's a it's a new word. It encompasses all other sort of words in it. Sure. Um. So he uh, he gave us his uh, sponsorship right from from the council so that we could uh, continue on with the stronghold. But we need to go to Ebenhart uh, to talk to um, uh, Venom Dren. I think was his name. Part of me is like, do I take the Silt Strider or do I actually? Can you take the Silt Strider too? That's actually a good question. Can you take the Silt Strider to Ebenhart? Ebenhart is just down this way. It's not that far. I could walk. Huh. I, you know, I might actually just walk, uh, run uh, down there. You know, maybe. Um, yeah, so th this is the right direction. Um, just because I don't feel like going back, finding the boat, and then getting a ride over there. All right, so uh, you know, we'll chop a little bit of that out, so you guys don't have to watch me uh, running over here. You know, killing kagoodies and uh, making my way to Evanhart. I'll be right back with you guys. You know, like we, we, we could see Ebonheart from here. That's how close we are. Your athletic skill increased to 57 because you weren't a lazy saw and decided to actually run to Ebonheart. All right, now that I'm here, I don't remember exactly where to go. I'm pretty sure it's over here in this larger... Maybe not, maybe not larger, but this more main area. Oh, that's right. Um... So we're here in uh, in Ebenhart. Uh, we have to get up on the wall. This is basically it's around the same area where we had to go to. Um, oh, what was the, the name? There was that captain we needed to talk to on the bridge leading up to it. Yeah, this guy. We had to talk to him. I think about uh, the uh, Dark Brotherhood attacks that we we experienced earlier in the game. Uh, we will be getting to the, the tribunal expansion eventually, but okay. So him over here. All right. Welcome, friend. You're not the guy I thought you were. Okay. I need to find the guy I'm actually looking for. Crap. Yeah, there we go. I'm like, let's just talk to Relan Hlalu here. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, good day, Citizen Alexis. I'm Relan Hlalu. This is Ebenhart, named for Castle Ebenhart, and the Duke of Ebenhart, Duke Venom Dren, by the grace of our Emperor, the Emperor's representative here in Vardenfell District. Can I help you? I'd like to know where Venom Dren is. The Dren family has been prominent for many generations in House Lalu. That doesn't answer my question, but I'm assuming since we're in the castle, um, Venom Dren is somewhere in here. We need to, we need to scour the castle. Are you Venom Dren? You're not. All right, let's go up into the towers. Maybe I'll run around a little bit and be like, hey, you know Venom Dren? Do you know? Oh, he's probably right here. There he is. Duke Venom Dren. I believe we've spoken May before. You find me worthy of your attention. What is my reputation, anyways? Like, they're really respectful to me. Reputation of 20. I, I guess that means good. Um, I'm a house father. And I'll be a councilman next. All right, let's talk to you. Where did I put that? I'm surprised to see you here again. Do you have some business for me? Can I get advancement? Once our business, business is concluded, I will consider your advancement. All right, let's do some business! In order for House Hlalu and the most virtuous as... Oh, sorry, no... <clears throat> Yes, <laughs> I'm like, oh, there's something in my throat. That's right, because the, the Dunmer, they sound normal when they don't have something in their throat, but when they get something in the, yeah, sorry, because when they get something in their throat, they sound like this, but when they don't have something in their throat, they sound like this. In order for House Lalu and uh, the most virtuous aspects of the Empire to survive, we must find a way to control the Ordinators. All right, that's right, because we are dealing with House Lalu, and that does mean uh, subterfuge and manipulation and uh, all that good political stuff. Uh, ordinators. These are the people who, uh, are basically the guards who protect over the temple and Vivek and stuff. I think. Uh, Beryl Sella, the leader of the Ordinators, is a fanatic. The Archcanon, a Tholer Saryoni, on the other hand, seems to be a decent and reasonable man. I need you to convince Archcanon Saryoni to put a stop to the worst of the Ordinators' zeal. Saryoni may be found at the High Fane in Vivek. Here is a key to his quarters. What are you doing with the, with the key? Just, just wondering. Did, did he give you a key? Are you like, are you his roommate? He's like, here, have my key. Or, or are you, or is it something else? We'll inquire about that later. All right, so we need to head to High Fane and Vivek. Ebony armor. You know, it's, it's kind of nice. I like it. I like the 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 orange kind of. Yeah, no, whatever. 
All right, heading off to High Fane and Vivek. I don't believe we've been to High Fane. Is that um? Wait a minute, High Fane. Is that uh, the um? The uh, the the floaty mabob above Vivek? Or is it like? I'm trying to remember now. Whatever. I'll be back when we get there. Why run when you could swim? And the waters around here are really murky. All right, running up the doors here, we get to, uh, I believe this is High Fane over here. Yep, High Fane. Um, I, I was close, it's it's close to the thing. Maybe there's a teleporter in here or something I'm remembering. That's that's making me, uh, all right, maybe, maybe I'm just completely off. I'm completely wrong. Uh, we are looking for, What's his name? I've already forgotten. Heard of you before. Uh, yeah, you probably have. Um, Archcanon Solar Saryani. You are not this person. I'm going to crouch. I'm going to close your door. I'm going to go ahead and turn myself invisified because that's what I do. And I'm going to rob you blind because, hey, I can. Um, all right, never mind. You've got garbage. Ooh, a nice wooden chest locked away in the corner. Perhaps we should... Take a look inside. What have we got in here? Holy crap! You're a merchant. You sell things. They're all mostly pretty crap. I'll take the blight disease though. Uh, I'll leave it at that. There's this other chest that's got stuff on top of it. Um, take his, we're gonna take all his gold. Got one more chest over here in the corner. Lock level 75. Lock pick failed, failed. Ooh, my spell wore off. I want to make sure I've got that spell up. Actually, I should probably have something even better, to be be very honest. Uh, what about the uh, amu Amulet of Shadows? There. I currently have, what, 82% Chameleon. In addition to my already 110 sneak, yeah! We're good. We are going to be just fine. Except for, you know, I'm using up all my lockpicks because uh, I'm still using apprentice lockpicks when I've got much better ones. Um, standard restore health potion. Nah, no, no. Common disease. I'll take those. The diseases always can always be a bit of a pain, so I, I figure, you know, those, those will be some helpful uh, uh, options. Let me peruse your books. You have anything cool? All right, nothing I wanted to, to grab. My sneak skill has increased to 111. Yeah, this is definitely glitched. Uh, the maximum should be 100, but here I am. I am, I am now up up, up to. Uh, I'm already uh, making progress towards my next uh, my next level up. My sneak. You know what? I'm okay with this. This is totally a glitch, and uh, I'm. I, I don't want to exploit these things, but you know what? It makes sense. If this is supposed to be the same character that I've been playing since Arena, it would make sense that, you know what, she should have that, that ability to be like this master thief uh, that no, like, nobody else can, can touch. Uh, I, I feel like her sneaking ability should be second to no one. Uh, and then on top of that, she also has the magic to, to help her. City, Outlander? So wait, so that's it? Temple? Hall of Wisdom? Well, this door here is locked, so I'm assuming I need to get in there. Alright, let's, uh... Okay, you're not looking at me? Alright. Oh, hello, person! Don't mind me, just sneaking in. Oh, you're the person I need to talk to! Oh, but I'm more, I'm more interested in what you got here, the Hall of Wisdom. Oh, so this is how we get over here. Okay. Security skill increased to 48, awesome. So we'll take the back door out. Uh, oh, you've got a chest. Okay, okay. Well, we'll talk to you in just a second, buddy. I want to, um... Lock level 95! Lock too complex. Okay, we're gonna actually have to break out our master's lockpick for this one. Yeah! There we go. Wow! Do we have anything, actually? The value on these. Holy crap, both his walking stick? Summon ancestral ghost? For 60 seconds and fire shield. It's actually not that great, but the value is there. Um, let's see, Blessed Shield, Restore uh, Health, Shock Damage, Fire Damage, uh, Restore Fatigue. 
Uh, drain fatigue, restore health. Summon ancestral ghost, meh, yawn. Um, Velocity shield. Yeah, so the, the, the real, the real, like, whoa, uh, the battle axe of wounds actually looks pretty nice. Um, you know, the value rep uh, is reflective of that, and both his walking stick. It's, it, I'm kind of curious why this thing is valued so high, though. 21,075, but summon ancestral ghost and a fire shield for three points for five seconds. That's it. Seems a bit, um, eh, but it looks like it was. Is that made off of a, uh, a Daedric, uh, staff? Yeah, it looks like it was made from a Daedric staff, that's probably why. Okay, I'm gonna just drop those on the ground. In case I wanna come back and get them at some point. Um, alright. Quill Pen, Blasphemous Revenants. Uh, alright, I guess we'll- I guess we can talk to you after I peruse your books. Alright, there's been a few things, there's a few things, but you know what, I don't- I don't wanna get into, uh, reading just yet. I- I will- I know I'm a little overdue for some, uh, more book clubs, and I forgot- I didn't see that chest up on the wall. I- I guess I will have to... Um... I'll have to break into this thing. <laughs> Come on, I- I came in here, and I- I've been stealing everything else, might as well take his ca his cash, there. Alright! Hi! I'm supposed to be talking to you about something! Uh, I totally did not rob you. Please leave. These are my private quarters. Oh, but, but hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to talk to you about controlling the Ordinators. I understand your concerns, but the Ordinators are a necessity, especially in these troubling times. Well, do go on. What, what, what makes them so troubling? Maybe I can be a solution. Well, there is the Blight and the return of Dagoth Ur. There are troubles with the Empire and troubles between the Great Houses. The Temple needs protection in these times and the Ordinators provide that. Even though the Ordinators have failed on occasion. Oh, have they? Oh, what embarrassing thing could you tell me about the Ordinators? Well, it is rare, but recently... <clears throat> Perhaps you could help with one of these failures. Uh, there is a cavern, uh, a Simanu, uh, known to those who follow Dagoth Ur. Um, in this cavern is the robe of Saint Rory, Rory, Roris, yes, a holy relic. If you can succeed where the Ordinators fail by bringing me the robe, I will speak with Berel Sala. Well, you know what? I might be able to do just that for you. Uh, uh, what was the name of the place? Uh, uh, a Simanu? To get to Asimanu, take the southern road towards Sedanin. After you cross the bridge, you will see swamplands to the south. Okay, southern road towards Sedanin. Wait, where am I? Oh, yeah, I'm in Hyphane. Okay, I'm in, I'm in Vivek. Uh, southern road towards Sedanin. Southern road from Vivek? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. After you cross the bridge, you will see swamplands to the south. Go across the swamps and look for an island to the south. Asimanu is on that island. Consider it done. What's up, everyone? I'm on a mission. I'm gonna go do things. All right. Uh, so, well, you, you heard the guy. We're gonna head, uh, take the southern road towards, uh, Vivek. Uh, so I'm guessing... Uh, southern road towards... Not Vivek, sorry, Sedanine. Sedanine's all the way up here, though. There's a couple islands there. Ugh. Did, wait, did he actually mean Sedanine? I should head towards Sedanine from Ebenhart. All right, so we'll start in Ebenhart and then we'll travel from there because that that seems to be where the directions were written from. All right. Uh, you know I don't feel like being attacked by uh, by fish, so let's just uh, do some water walking. There we go. There we go, that's a quicker way to travel. Why swim when you can jump? What the heck? Why am I- Oh, there we go. I couldn't jump for a second there. Alright, so we gotta leave, um... From Ebenhart. Aw, oh, come on. Leave me alone, monster mabobs. Alright, so, what's Southern Road? I, surely they can't mean the southern road from Ebenhart, right? I should head towards Sedanin from Ebenhart. Alright, so to get to Sedanin from Ebenhart, I would have to travel north, actually. Eh, whatever. 
If there's something chasing me, the guards will they'll have to, it'll have to contend with the guards. All right, uh, so uh, I will start heading off in that direction. I will be back with you guys and girls, um, whatever, whatever, whatever combination of you there are, um, you people. There we go. You fine, fine people with great, obviously great taste. I will be with you guys in just a little, a little bit. You know, uh, maybe they meant the southern road, um, like uh, from Sedanin. Yeah, so it's right after this, uh, supposed to be right after the wooden bridge, right? So I'll take the wooden bridge. Oh, you know what? This is like my favorite part of the game. I love the swamp areas. To me, they, 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 it's like they've got the most life to them. they got the most personality. Absolutely my favorite parts, uh, pl uh, favorite area in Morrowind. I'm um, obviously being attacked by something. All right, so let me see. After, let me see. After crossing the wooden bridge, I should head south in the middle of the swamps until I reach an island. There we go, two dead things. All right, so I'm guessing they want me to head south from here, because I just passed the, the wooden bridge. So down into the swamps from here. It's more along, kind of like the coast, I would guess. Um, until we get to a bit of an island. Go away, mud crab. I'm not dealing with you right now. Um, there's a little island there. Now, when I moved, when I was a little bit further ahead, I did see one of these islands that had like a, a mine door on it. Or maybe I'm seeing things. I thought there was something with like a mine door on it. Maybe I'm going crazy. Or maybe I'm not. Wait a second, this looks familiar. H have I been here before? I've not been here before. Intriguing. Okay, well, there's nothing that I can see. Nothing showing up on my map. That's one. That's one nice thing you can do is, uh, you know, just if you just move around uh, the area. Uh, and then you just look at your map, it'll, you know, highlight any entrances or doors and stuff for you. Which, you know, I'm sure you already know, we're, we're on part... I don't even know what part we're on now, we're like 160-something. This is definitely going to be a, a long Let's Play. Oh, well, I, I found something. It's not what I was looking for, but... Hold on. Gotta kill things that are trying to kill me. Alright, uh, get some air. Alright, um... Down here, we found, uh, Akimea's, uh, Akimea's, Akimea's Grotto. And that, uh, it's not what we were, what we were looking for. Oh, wait, what's this? Remote shipwreck. Okay, so we found a shipwreck there as well. Uh, if we look at the big map, there's a few little, uh, islands here, but not, uh, what we were looking for. This, I, I, this has got me curious, though. A a Akimea's Grotto. Um, is there any... Any other paths in here, or is it just, uh, oh yeah, it looks, it looks like there's one path a bit off to the, uh, the right. Okay. The Mew Ring doesn't give me a whole lot of extra light, but, eh, it might help, uh, me look around a little bit more. I'm kinda curious about this, uh, I, I love it when they have, like, uh, underwater, um, like, when you, when you find a, like, a, a cave or, like, a dungeon entrance, uh, somewhere where you wouldn't expect it. Uh, it's really cool. That is a really big call-up. Um, I think I'm gonna need water breeding. Breeding. I'm gonna need water breeding. Uh-oh. Um, water breathing. There we go. Uh, what have we got over here? Nothing. Just another large call-up. A uh, large call-up though does have pearls. Hey, I'm gonna grab. I'll grab me. Uh. So that's, that's basically a hundred, uh, hundred coin right there. Um, continue heading on through here. This is a neat area. I like this. Okay. Uh, oh, something over in the other room there. Okay. See, this is cool. Most other little underwater places I've found have been kind of, um, you know, they, they're, 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 eh, they're cool. They're, they're, it's a place. Uh, but this one here, I actually feel like. Um... What the heck? What's attacking me? What's attacking me? There you are. Light armor skill increased. Um... 
this one here feels nice and big. This feels like a like a an underwater dungeon. Oh, I like this. I like this place. I'm glad I found this place. Oh man, um Do I have any potions? Uh, for water breathing, I think that would make things a lot easier because I, I need something that's gonna last a little while. Nope. Um, the one one thing I do like is the color coding on the uh, the uh, the little icons. So I just I just have to you know skim across here and find purple. If I find purple, I stop on it. But all I've got is levitating. So. Um. All right. So down here, I don't see a whole lot of anything. Just want to. Ah, oh crap! Come on, a little bit more brightness. Cause it's it's it's, it's kind of murky, right? It's hard to to see everything down here, and my water breathing doesn't last that long. Okay, is that where I came through? Yeah, that's where I came through. Uh, looks like there is an opening. Wait, is that air up above? Yeah, it looks like an air pocket. Okay, let's see what's up here. Just an air pocket. Yeah. All right, so we'll dive back down. Uh, gonna try, gonna try to do it as much without the water breathing. Um, I believe I, I might have an enchanted item that might help me with that, uh, with uh, breathing underwater. So I'll have to take a look at my inventory in a second. Oh dang, this is this is cool. I like this. All right. All right, let's stab the fish. What the heck? There we go. One hit, two hits. Alright, um... Mostly just some call-ups. I, I, I'm going to admit, you know, I, I've talked before about how I just like finding cool areas and sometimes, you know, exploration, it's, uh, totally not what I wanted to use. Um, you know, exploration itself can be its own reward. Um, but it, it, I, in, it, kind of in a way, I think I would be pretty disappointed if there was nothing, uh, nothing down here. Oh, this is where I was. I just didn't go over into the far corner. Okay. Yeah, if, if there's nothing down here at all, I will be a little bit, I will be, I will be kind of disappointed. Um, because I feel like, um... This is a gr like a, a great opportunity for to hide something really cool or something really neat, especially with like uh, if if it, we get to a part where there's no more air pockets and it's very obvious, like like right here, right here for instance. Um, oh, stop running from me! Just let me slay you so I can get back to tr treasure hunting. Um, it would be um, huh. Yeah, if, if if there was like a requirement, like oh, it's uh, you you need to be able to breathe underwater. There's no way you're gonna be able to make it this far, um, in here without some sort of uh, water breathing ability. And then they put something cool there. That would be cool. But this doesn't. Nothing there. No. There's nothing here. Really? Okay. Well, well, there are, there are some call-ups, so we can, you know, you can go ahead and grab some some pearls while you're here, you know, if they have pearls in them. Um, you could probably grab some drew wax if that's something you wanted. Uh, but it just kind of looks like that's that's it. Okay. Nothing else. Huh. Okay then. Well, everybody, that was Akime's Grotto. Maybe I missed something. If I did, if you're if you're if you are familiar with this place, and you're like, no, 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 you, you missed something. You missed something. Um, by all means, please let me know what I missed and where I uh, where I should have been looking. Because uh, just from you know, my little time, my time in here, I have I didn't see anything. It's it's a cool place. I'm, I'm glad that I found it. It was still exciting to to explore it. Um, I just wish there was something. It didn't even have to be something good. 
just something to kind of tell a story. Why does this place exist? Why is it there? You know, did people use it for something at some point? You know, just even like a, um, like a chest or an old barrel full of something. You know, was this, was this a smuggler's cave? Or was it... Shipwreck, I wonder. Can we find clues here that will tell us about the grotto? Hmm. That'll have to wait until next time, though, because I am completely out of time for today. So we'll have to uh, find that island and complete that quest and answer all these questions next time. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you did not, leave it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comment section. And until next time, I would like to ask you all to game on.